Hey guys, what is going on? I'm Colin with Tell You How, bringing you our first computer building video. This is going to be based off of a gaming slash editing setup. Um, I am actually legitimately building this computer, and I only have some of the components right now, but I figured I would go on ahead and teach you guys uh, how to build it and what I'm going to put into it so you can kind of know for reference if you would like to build a computer. So without further ado, let's go on ahead and get right in. Okay, first up on the list I have the NWIN Buck. This is going to be the case that I'm using. As you can see at the top left of the screen, I'm just going to be giving you a little tour of the case itself and the inside of it. This case is obviously black and it is an ATX mid-tower case. As far as cases go, you're going to be mainly interested in the ports and the expansion slots. So for this case, we have three five and a quarter inch drive bays one three and a half inch drive bay we also have a 3.5 internal and a 2.5 device converter cage we have four hot swap drive bays and seven expansion slots total on the front of the case for the ports we have one usb 3.0 located on the top two usb 2.0s an eSATA and hd ac97 audio this fan is also included with two 120mm fans, but I have no worries, I'm going to go ahead and get more fans uh, just to keep the airflow running nice and steady through this case. Next up on the list is the Gigabyte GA990 FXA UD3 motherboard. Now the main reason I'm going with this is because of the specs on it, which is obvious, and the fact that it is compatible with my processor. Now as for some of the specifications on this, I mean, with the motherboard you mainly want to make sure that that it runs nice with your processor and that it's meant for it. So for this motherboard we have four PCI Express 2.0 slots, two PCI Express slots, and one PCI slot. Now this motherboard does not come with onboard audio mainly because that was not something that I needed. Granted that I will be getting a video graphics card as well with this. It is expandable up to 32 gigabytes of memory which is nice, and the memory standard is DDR3. Which brings me on to my next topic, the Corsair memory. Now I did already purchase my RAM, but as you can tell there's not really a whole lot to it. I mean, I'm going to do sort of a mini unboxing here for you at the top left. But when it comes to RAM, it's mainly all about whether it's DDR3 or DDR2. I mean, you can't get DDR5 quite yet, just in the RAM alone. It does come in some of the video graphics cards, um, but DDR3 is going to run you much quicker than DDR2, so of course I decided to go with 16 gigs of DDR3, and one of the main reasons I really stocked up on the RAM was because I got this on Black Friday and it was on sale for $75 with a mail-in rebate, which put me right at about $25. So if you know anything about RAM, you do know that's an excellent price and I couldn't possibly pass it up, so that's why I did that. And another thing, like I said, this computer is going to be for editing and video gaming. And on the editing side, I'm going to need to do some pretty large RAM previews in After Effects. So uh, the RAM is going to help me out in that case. It's obviously going to speed up, you know, my my day-to-day -day tasks. So I, it's not necessary to get 16 gigs of RAM, but you know, if you can catch it on sale for 25 bucks, why not? And without further ado, I am happy to present my processor, the AMD. Phenom 2 6 core black edition. Now this thing is pretty awesome. It is a 3.3 gigahertz with a 3.7 gigahertz turbo socket. Um, I mean this thing pretty much just screams speed to me and after all I know it's not an Intel i7 but at the same you know in the same sense I'm not gonna be paying you know just buku bucks for this thing. So um, I am excited to get this. When it comes to processors you really it's kind of an individual choice. Obviously, like I said, you want to make sure that your motherboard is compatible with it. But it's all about what kind of speed you're going to be needing. And uh, I've, I've done so much research on AMD versus Intel. And I could, from what I can tell, it just seems as though AMD is, is the better choice all around, mainly because I'm gaming and editing. And it's on a budget scale. I mean, why not? You get, you know, you get two for the price of one. So. Um, I will be getting this processor, and I'm going to be letting all you guys, of course, know how it works whenever I get it, but uh, let's not stop there. I'm going to go ahead and move on to my graphics card. Now, for my graphics card, I chose the 
NVIDIA GeForce GTX 560. Uh, now once again, graphics cards, depending on what you're going to be doing, is not all that important. Um, but if you're going to be doing editing and gaming, it's really something you don't want to skip out, and I can't stress that enough. So, which is why I chose this. It's pretty powerful. Um, it's not exactly top of the line, but but it's not cheap either, so that's nice. Um, it's got a gig of memory, and it is running DDR5, like I said. So that's going to be the the fastest memory you can be running. Um, so I'm happy about that. This thing should, you know, run Battlefield 3 on high settings, no problem whatsoever. And I should have no problem editing some really high definition video. Um, and that's really what I'm going for with this computer. So, guys, I would recommend going all out on the graphics card if you have the budget for it and you're doing a gaming or editing build. But once again, if you're not going to be gaming or editing and this is just going to be one of those, you know, screw around computers, get on YouTube, look up videos, that kind of thing, or even just basic editing, you don't really have to go you know, to the fullest of the fullest with the graphics card. So, um, if you're gonna be doing some intense stuff, I would recommend something like this. Um, and if not, you know, you can go with something a little more subtle. But anyways, that is what I'm gonna be doing for my graphics card. Okay guys, I did not really find it necessary to go over my, you know, my hard drive and my uh, power supply and that kind of stuff, because that's, that's fairly basic. It's not gonna affect your performance. Um, then again, neither is the case, but I already had that, so I figured I would go over it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't feel afraid to rate, comment, and subscribe. We would really enjoy having you here on our channel. Also, you may want to check out our HP Elite review.